Hi everyone, uh, Nick James here. Um, just been having a bit of a thought on discussions I've seen on Facebook and so on about amps and where they're made. Um, and it seems like every time a new amp in the sort of low to mid price range is released just lately, you're going to read the same comments and it's going to be something along the lines of, ugh, it's made in China or something thereabouts. And I really, I, I don't understand where this xenophobic attitude comes from um, when it comes to amps or pedals or, you know, that kind of thing. And it, it kind of makes me cringe a little bit. Um, with guitars, I totally get it. With a guitar, you expect a certain skill level that won't be achieved if you're given the same job to thousands of employees who are working from a template. There's only so much machines can do um, until the, the manual labour kicks in, like the hand sanding, uh, shaping, uh, finishing, so on, um, comes into play. So guitars, as I say, I get it. But a modern amp is effectively an item of consumer electronics. What you want with consumer electronics is consistency, build quality. You want it to work perfectly out of the box every time on every unit. Um, there's no room for Jeff in soldering who might be having a crap day on a Friday afternoon. If you're spending, say, £400 to a grand on an amp, you, that's a lot of money. You want that to work. If you've got a big gig, um, there's going to be record people there. You don't want to be worrying, is it going to break down? You want to know that it's been made as consistently as it can be. And which nation it's made in doesn't matter in that regard. In fact, what you probably don't want is a small boutique operation where there's going to be variation. Um, where there's not going to be amazing anti-static screening, um, where the components they use might have to differ day to day because of availability. Um, what you want, in a way, is a large factory. So you'll probably be watching this on, I don't know, a tablet, a smartphone, a PC, a Mac, whatever. All the chips, all the components in that device are going to be made in China. The item itself was probably assembled in China. If after this you go and watch some TV or a DVD, you know for sure that your Sky Plus box, your BT Vision box, whatever, will have been made in China. The TV will have been made in China. The DVD player would have been made in China. What about if you want to eat some food or have a cup of tea uh, while you're watching that telly or that DVD? Guess what? Oven, microwave, kettle, fridge, all made in China. If you spill some of that said cup of tea down yourself while, while you're drinking it, you're probably going to want to go and wash your shirt. Yep, washing machine, tumble dryer, all made in China. Now, the Chinese factories for making, excuse me, for making consumer electronics, uh, they're more like operating theatres than your typical mind's eye view of a factory. They have anti-static controls like you wouldn't believe. Um, they're clean, they're modern, uh, they're light, they're efficient. If you're not sure, go and check it out on YouTube. Um, they're amazing, they're a sight to see. Um, the, the employees are well trained at following schematics. They know how to solder, they know how to assemble. Um, there is literally nothing when it comes to mass producing consumer electronics that they can't do in China, that they can only do in somewhere like America or Britain or wherever the other big amp brands come from. Um, the biggest difference is cost. So let's say a well-known company like Blackstar, for example, wanted to make a UK factory for amps um, to mass produce. I'm talking mass production here, not hand-wide boutique stuff. Um, for the, H the new HD Venue Mark II series. To set up a bespoke factory would cost them millions. Um, they'd have to find a building, a big building. They'd have to employ and train hundreds of staff to do specific jobs. They'd have to buy the machinery um, and so on and so forth. Not only that, 
they could never stop making amps in that factory um, just to break even because dead time in a factory is suicidal for a business. Now in China there's already established factories making high quality amps for many 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 manufacturers so rather than absorbing all those startup costs they simply place an order for 10,000 units check the quality, check the pre-production prototypes and that's the end of the matter for them. Any dead time in the factory? Not Blackstar's problem. Staffing? Not Blackstar's problem. Building costs? Not their problem. Purchasing machinery? Again, not their problem. They place their order, they're done. That's it. The factory puts the cost for staff wages, human resources, rent, machinery, maintenance, supplies, yada yada yada, into the cost of the order that Blackstar place and all these costs are absorbed by the brands who use the factory on a pro-rata basis. So Blackstar don't have their own factories in Asia. They use factories that are simultaneously used by other major amp brands. So once they've sold their 10,000 unit order, they can simply place the next order. They can make it bigger, make it smaller, but they don't have to worry about paying staff, paying other costs, or they're not making amps. And they also don't have to worry about overproducing amps because they can make small incremental orders based on their sales projections and sales figures. So how does that benefit us as the end user? Simple price. What does it cost us as, as the end user in terms of reliability or quality? Simply put, nothing. So just last thought, yes in the uh, early days of Chinese amp manufacture there might have been some reliability problems but you can bet your bottom dollar that a lot of these were actually caused by the brand trying to penny pinch by choosing components that weren't suitable for the task so that goes from anything from tubes to the uh, physical mechanical components on the front like the, uh, like the pots um, the jack sockets, the valve sockets, you know, anything in a valve amplifier has to be able to s handle repeated use and high temperatures. So if you try and penny pinch by choosing cheaper components, they're going to fail. Now that would have happened regardless of whether the amp was made in China, whether it was made in America, Britain, wherever, the moon, whatever. If you put in crap, you're going to get crap out. But the last few years, manufacturers have realised if, the, if they design a good circuit, spec components that are the right grade for the job, and monitor the quality control, they will have products that stand the test of time. Examples of brands who are getting this right are Blackstar, Orange, Hughes and Kettner, PV, um, so on and so forth. So next time you see somebody saying, "Ugh, it's made in China on an amp or a pedal thread," direct them to this video, and hopefully it will make them think again. So anyway, I've been Nick James, um, thanks for watching, uh, please subscribe, um, I'd love to see your comments on this particular topic because um, people have very strong opinions on this subject and um, yeah, let's get the debate going and um, I'll see you next time, thank you.